doing the school walk now. Huh? Do you like school, dudes? Yeah. I believe the, the hotel's over that way somewhere. The Stradley Park Hotel is over there. And then the school is over there. Not really uh, what we want. There's 200 undocumented up there. It's Come round this Welsh Patriots rise up. Walk in a mile, walk in a mile, walk in a green mile, walk in a mile, walk in a mile. Hi! Walk in a mile, walk in a mile. Walk in a mile, God knows. Just playing in there. I'll mess around before they go into school. Walk in a mile, walk in a mile, walk in a mile. So, uh, finished now doing the school run. That's abruptly come to an end. That's why I have to be and squash club. So, this school is situated about, let's say, five minutes, ten minutes, not even, not even ten minutes, but five minutes from so this squash club, tennis club from the actual school, uh, from the hotel, so I mean... Hotels over that way. Would you want 200 men unvetted dropped in your community? In your stunning community? I don't think so. Hold the fort guys, stand your ground, because we will. So I've just uh, dropped the kids off at school. School's over that way. Hotel's over that way. And I'll uh, go and see the Patriots now, the Welsh Patriots. Some of are English. Um, we're all in uh, the, the hotel hostage. And Stanley Ground and not anyone in route. I have a check out. As a web designer myself, I will offer my services because I usually need a website for the uh, charity or for the cause. Called the Sauce Pond, Save Our Australia Park Hotel. So, as a web designer, um, I will give them my free services. Well, I can offer them, and if they uh, accept, then I'll work with lady to get something up and running today within an hour I don't miss it out so let's uh, push this out and get this going in guys I'll, uh, I won't film my actual meeting with them because it's a bit private but I will tell you what happens afterwards have a great day guys and I'll, uh, I'll add on the aftermath of my meeting or rendezvous with some of the people that's outside the hotel, uh, a guy called Colin and Michelle, and I'll uh, update you further. We will not be removed. We've got every exit and entrance covered. And I'm, uh, I say we, but I mean they have. I'm just a staunch supporter. I'll always go to the protests. I'll always back them 100%. And I'm going to offer my free web design services and marketing and SEO to expose the government for who they are, what they are, and obviously to bring rivals to this area. It's going to be awesome. And if you've got any causes, that patriotic of your own I'm willing to offer my web design services free of charge to you as well whether you're English, Welsh, American, whatever if you're fighting a cause that you strongly believe in I'll believe in it with you as well so let me know in the chat if you need a web design and I can help you and provide it free of charge for you what you got to do let me know. Peace out guys.
good Welsh Patriots over and out for now. So I've just literally, I've just, just come up to uh, stop someone from crashing into another car there. I've literally uh, just come out to the car park now from dropping my kids off. I'm driving up now to Stradley Park Hotel, which is around the corner from my kids' school. Huge school actually. I did. Uh, I did. Um, I did. I think it was the best school in the area. And the best reviews. So you know, you only want the best for your children, don't you? So the last thing I want is lots of strangers, regardless of colour, regardless of where they're from, dropping into my well, our small village. Unannounced, and now I'm gonna go up. Which is the this is the main street now, going from Fleshley, which is down down the right, up to the hotel. To this is where all the protests usually take place up here, guys. So I can try and capture it up here. Giving away to the public, uh, at, giving away to the illegal immigrants, and the hotel is literally up there on the right. Well, I'm going to go in there and park up because I want to check on the people, on the soldiers up front. <coughs> and excuse me for coughing, guys. I've got a horrible um, tight chest. I don't know why. Probably because I'm excited coming down here. There's the caravan in front where some of the guys are in. That obviously man the front, the, uh, the back or the side of the hedge or the most popular and most guarded hedge in all of Wales, probably in the UK. So I'm going to go out now and have a chat to the owners, uh, to the creators of this charity to see if I can get on a website up and running today. So yeah, there's the hedge, there's the caravan with the people inside. Donated kindly by some woman, I think it was. Anyway, peace out. I'll update you in, I say, about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Peace out. So you you were in, well, sorry. I, I was coming through the village, back home. Right. And of course, they were stopping every car, the police, both because ways, where we were going yes. And they actually stopped you and said to you... Where, where have you been? Which way did you come now? They said, where come from town? Where they thought there was more people coming, you know. Why did the police... It's treat... not just me. Every car was stopped. Disgusting how the police can... That was one o'clock on Thursday. Because I came home from Swansea in the quarter bus with 12 bus. I parked my car up by the old workers. Yeah. Know? I parked there and it was nearly one o'clock. So what do you think is going to happen to the hotel? Do you think it's going to be... What do you think? Do you think... Do? I know. Well, all we could do is just stick to do what, what we're doing, isn't it? Yeah, you can't do more than that. No. It's after you guys said we're going to have a coffee. And a lot of people are saying, you know, where's the mothers and the children? Why are they yeah, they're mainly like men, men and Albanian men and stuff. We don't know who they are. You know, my father's worried for my mum. You know, they're in their 80s. She's not well. I'm worried because I know Albanians don't treat the women very well. Uh, do you also think I want my 12 year old girl who lives around our area? Do you also think I want them? I don't know if this is a rumour, but we heard one of them, as soon as I landed in the UK, one of them was sent back to prison, he raped a young girl. It happens all the time. And then we are paying 
for this to happen, woman. We are paying for them to be fed in jail. You are, I feel sorry for some of them. They're humans. Yeah, of course. They're humans, like we are. We're meant to be international. But we can't look after our own. It is disgusting. I, I, I totally agree with you. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I've just been down speaking to them now and offered my services as a web designer yeah. to do the website for the for everything basically. Yeah. Any petitions to sign or anything? Not yet. Not yet. But all, they, all they just want is basically people just to go down there and sit with them, have a cup of tea like I did this morning. Where? Outside the hotel. There's a there's a massive part of uh, land that's the more or less the owner uh, that the the local neighbors and they got a massive marquee up at the Stradley park hotel oh, at, at the Stradley pub have donated and go in there and sit with all the women oh. cup of tea they're lovely they are oh, right. and they'd I welcome you with open that. arms I I oh fair play yeah i think i will I've got speak with jane yeah speak with jane she's the organizer she's on lovely lady and she like open, open arms though she's she just What's needs my name's Daz. Daz, Angela, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah.